हेलो माय डियर जे एडवांस एस्पिरेंट्स ऑफ 2025 वी आर टुवर्ड्स द फिनिशिंग स्टेज ऑफ आवर प्रिपरेशन एंड आई एम हियर टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू क्लोज योर प्रिपरेशन सो द नेक्स्ट 20 डेज आर सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इफ यू यूटिलाइज इट वेल देन यू मे वेरी वेल एंड अप स्कोरिंग 20 टू 30 मार्क्स एक्स्ट्रा एज कंपेयर टू व्हाट यू हैव बीन स्कोरिंग टिल नाउ एंड द स्टूडेंट्स हैव बीन स्ट्रगलिंग टू क्रॉस यू नो 125 130 मार्क आई think i'll be able to ensure that you cross the 150 marks barrier by doing simple things in the next 20 days so what are they let me just tell you so guys obviously the first thing is that till uh, now for the past 2 years you have been accumulating a lot of knowledge okay and now academically you are very sound and it is imperative that you are able to convert your knowledge into marks and for that you need to learn the skill of converting your knowledge into marks you may be very knowledgeable but if you are not able to solve the questions that come in the advanced examination in the time frame in which they are supposed to solve okay then you will probably not be able to prove yourself you'll not be able to tell the world how much you know so it is important that we learn those aspect we learn to control our temperament to make the right decisions to build the right strategy of writing a j advanced paper now students keep in mind that j advanced is known to surprise the aspirants okay the scheme of marking can be different the pattern of paper can be different the level of the paper can be surprising and an ideal preparation would be one in which you prepare yourself for all the surprises at least you face some surprises and then you know how you reacted when you got a paper an unexpected paper okay and to do that we in eclave conduct tests which test you on these skills so the eclave ats test series the full syllabus test series uh, that begins from april 25 it will have 10 tests and those tests will be theme based tests like the first four tests are theme based tests uh, they are rank prediction tests then we have a novel question test so what are these tests guys so in a theme based test what we do we expose you to a situation which will be very surprising to you i will do it by way of the pattern of questions i'm giving to you by way of the marking scheme that we are giving to you and after the test we will reveal the theme of the test that means we will tell you that what was tested in today's paper and you will be able to relate to it we have done it in the past and our previous year eclavens have appreciated the test series to a great extent they found that the vedantus eclavet test series papers were very relevant when it comes to the je advanced level uh, the je advanced actual exam and they were benefited most of those students were also part of other test series that are there in the market and they gave this input that this test series was best for them it was most profiting most uh, uh, enriching for them all right students so that is something that you can also think to join it's very easy to join guys you can just uh, join the eclave batch we have slashed the prices to a great deal so if you want you can just join the batch and even if you don't want to join the batch no problems guys i will still i will tell you that what should be the general theme of your preparation right now so guys in the last 20 days as i said you have to prepare yourself for the day of the examination so there are few things that you have to keep in mind you must write enough number of full syllabus tests all right so at least 10 tests should be written so i'm assuming that in a week you will be writing at least 3 tests um full syllabus tests okay so that is one thing that you have to keep in mind and those tests should be able to simulate the je advanced paper i am again saying guys many times students look out for tests which are extremely difficult they believe that writing hard test will prepare them the prepare them uh, them better but that is not the case guys at this point in time you need to solve relevant papers papers which operate at a level slightly higher than je advanced not too higher not too lower all right so that is one thing that you have to do now while writing these tests there are certain thing that you have to keep in mind guys on the day of the examination your paper one will be from 9 am you will probably be asked to report to the center around 7:30 maybe even uh, sooner than that you will probably be given entry at about 8 am and you will probably be seated at your uh, desk by 8:30 and then those 30 minutes you will be simply waiting uh, you know sitting idle and waiting for the test to begin so it is important that you train your body for such a scenario, uh, situation okay you will be at the center at about 7:30 even if i consider half an hour of travel you will leave your house by 7 am maybe 6:45 am 
and then accordingly you will probably have your breakfast uh, you know accordingly you will have to wake up accordingly so it is important that you set your body clock according to the day of the examination so if you feel that on the day of the examination you will have to wake up at 5 a.m start doing that right now if you think that you will be required to wake up at 6 a.m start doing that right now okay from today till the day of the examination ensure that in the 9 a.m to 12 p.m window you are always sitting on the desk and maximum time you are solving questions and you're not getting up from your desk in this period because your body should be used to it okay then from 12 to 2 30 you will get the break have your lunch accordingly because your body should be accustomed to uh, you know to to take the meal at that time when you will be taking the meal at on the day of the examination from 2 30 to 5 30 again you should always be at your desk and you should be solving questions during that period after 5 30 you can decide how you want to spend your time but from 6 a.m in the morning till 5 30 p.m in the evening your daily schedule should be this like you may be studying anything but you need to study at least between 9 to 12 and 2 30 to 5 30 and you will uh, benefit yourself by sitting ideal for 30 minutes before 9 a.m. and by sitting ideal before 2.30 uh, p.m. also like half an hour before you start the test you should be sitting ideal so that way you will be used to that boredom you know whatever thoughts are coming to your mind you don't want to again surprise yourself on the day of the examination so this is the general theme or general way how you have to spend your test day okay and of course once the test is over you have to analyze the test you have to see where you have lo lost marks and you have to uh, find those reasons because of which you lost the marks you can use these mock tests to build your strategies you know you can decide the order of uh, attempt of various subjects the time you are going to de devote to different subjects and as i said if you are participating in the eklave ats test series then you will find that the these things will be taken care of automatically okay so i believe the test day is taken care of so that rules out about that takes out about 10 days from your remaining 20 days now what to do on a non-test day okay so uh, on a non-test day guys we have seen in the past that chemistry can play a game changer role okay it can ruin you and it can really boost your score also so ensure that you are spending enough time studying chemistry i'm not saying that you neglect physics and maths but you have to devote some extra time to chemistry there were such a, a certain chapters which were not part of j main and they are part of j advanced you may not have prepared those chapters well see to it that you do those chapters well spend time on studying inorganic chemistry especially the ncrt portion the whatever is written in ncrt many direct questions come from there so ensure that you are thorough with ncrt in organic also ensure that you are good with the reagents and the kind of products they make you are good with qualitative analysis that is another area that you need to improve so guys these are the chapters that you should be focused upon of course you have to devote time for maths and physics also uh, keep on doing revision in a cyclic manner okay so that will help you so this should be your non-test day on your non-test day you can discuss the test from your doubt then you can revise chemistry uh, physics maths the weightage of chemistry should be more you should devote more time to chemistry and guys i'm pretty sure that you must have set certain tasks for yourself like you must have decided that uh, uh, this would be the you know final step of my preparation so there must be few tasks that you have decided for yourself estimate when will you be able to finish those and ensure that you finish all your tasks at least by 16th of may it should not spill over that okay the last two days should be kept as buffer and you should be relaxing on the last two dates so what is very important during the next 20 days guys the next 20 days it is important that you maintain your body clock according to the day of the examination you stay healthy you eat healthy do not uh, try to avoid eating outside your house because of hygiene reasons if you are living in areas which are very hot during these summer months okay then ensure that you are not stepping out in sun a lot like you are taking care of yourself please do not fall sick at least not for reasons which are within your control because if you fall sick you will lose maybe a day maybe two days precious days out of these remaining 20 days so please ensure that whatever is in your control to keep yourself healthy you are doing that and my dear students i assure you that if you take care of all these things then you will come out of the examination hall happy and more importantly you will enter the examination hall with full of confidence so all the best my dear students uh, kick start your final leg of the preparation and do it with us in a clever batch join the clever test series and you will come to know that how great that test series is and how great it can boost your marks okay bachcho 
all the best for your exams